Hey guys, Infidel 1258 here. Today I want to do a concise video which attempts to explain the importance of in-game bonuses so that you can maximize your daily rewards. And it's so important that you guys understand daily rewards are going to be the key income earning opportunity within Splinter Lands as we move forward. And so that's why this is really important. I've talked about this topic in other videos. I did a 48 minute video which really unpacks this same idea, but this one's going to be concise because it's so key. It's so important. And I want everyone to hear this message. Daily rewards are the new main source of income within this game as we move into the rank reward changes. So absolutely we need to understand how ecr works into that how daily how bonuses like gold foil alpha beta win streak guild hall bonuses all that pours into your your earning potential not just on dec but on the loot chests you're earning as well because it does so let's try to do in like under 10 minutes for sure i want to really summarize the importance of uh, d having bonuses to increase your R shares. Okay. Rank rewards are being massively modified in Splinterlands. You know that. We're moving from a daily quest reward where you have to win five battles into a new focus reward, which is on a 24 hour window, you're going to play one splinter. Every time you win with that splinter, you're going to earn R shares. Those are called reward shares. When you, depending on the league you fight in, you're going to earn a varying amount of R shares. If you're playing in bronze, you're gonna have you're gonna average our share per win is gonna be 166. Silver, there it is, gold, there it is, diamond, there it is, and champion, there it is. So you're gonna earn more R shares for winning at higher levels. And so it's optimal if you can play in diamond and win in diamond, it's optimal that you do so because you're gonna get the maximum amount of R shares, plus you're gonna get a better loot chest because diamond has its own type of loot chest, gold its own, silver its own, bronze its own. They each have varying quality of content. And so the higher you play, the more R shares you get, the higher you play, the better loot you get inside those chests. Now, at every single level, you're gonna be capable of earning 30 loot chests per day. However, however, that's gonna be really hard to do. And that's why bonuses are so key now. If you look at this math and you and you take a take a step back, you can see that one loot or um, one win at any level is going to you need about one and a half or two wins at any level to unlock one chest. See, seventy one thousand champ uh, R shares for one win. You need two wins to get a chest. Thirty four thousand at diamond. You need two wins to get a chest. Gold, 13, you need 18 to get a chest, and so on. It's actually a greater division or a greater difficulty at lower levels. You can see it's closer to one win per chest at champion. But notice how it actually grows. Like, one chest is easier than 10 chests. One chest is easier than 10 chests. It's not just 10x. It's actually the difficulty in attaining higher and higher chests is actually parabolic. So if uh, one chest is 43,000 uh, diamond, 10 chests are 48,000. That is higher. That's 48,000 uh, our shares per chest. 50 is 7 point or 3.7 million. It's actually growing parabolically. So it becomes more and more difficult to get 30 chests a day. You're going to need to win. I think you might need to win 20 or 25 battles out of 30 battles. I actually think it's going to be something like that. Now, I can't do all the detailed math for you, but I can say to you, if you want to get 10 chests at any level, and let's say you're playing in champion and you want to get 10 chests, or let's, it doesn't matter actually, if you're playing in diamond, you want to get 10 chests, you're going to need to win roughly 16 battles. I did the math yesterday. Um, and all you have to do to figure that out is to calculate, you need, if you're in diamond and you want to, and you need this many points, R shares to get 10 chests, divide that by the average R shares per win. And you're going to see that that number is divisible 16 times. So 480788, that's 480,000 divided by 34,328, which is the R shares per win. And it's oh, okay. It's actually, it's actually 14 wins. Do so you need 14 wins at diamond to get 10, to get 10, um, to get the 10 R, uh, the loot chests at gold. Let's see what that is. 207856 divided by 1299. That's 16 wins. So at gold, you need 16 wins. At diamond, you need 14. Let's see, champion, how many do I need? 
979863 divided by 71473. So I need 13.7 wins. Silver, it looks like it's maybe easy. It's easiest at the highest levels. So 60.541 divided by 3048. 19.86. Yeah. The higher you get, the fewer wins you need. And that's so important because it's actually it's actually 19.8 wins to get 10 to get 10 silver chests. It's I think I I think I said 18 uh, 16 wins to get the gold the 10 gold chests. I think I said 14 wins to get the diamond 10 chests and I think it was 13.5 wins or something to get the the, the champion 10 chests. So at higher levels it's going to be easier to claim them because the R shares are more dramatic than the payouts on the R shares and the quality of the chest is better. No, remember that. But here's the thing. Going from 10 chests to 30 chests is a huge difference. And you're only going to have enough ECR to play roughly 30 matches per game. I did a video on this the other day. Alfred, you, you only lose 1% of your ECR, your current ECR, not absolute. E this was exactly right. This was important for me to learn. So people explained to me that if you play 30 games, you're going to drop down 24, 25% on the day. That's was a reoccurring comment. It was very helpful to know that because you're actually only losing 1% of your remaining ECR. So if you're at hundred, you're going to 99. If you're at 99, you're going 98.1 and so on. So it's this, if you play 30 battles, you're going to burn about 25% of your ECR. What that, why that's important to hold on to is because the Every day, you're only able to restore roughly 25% of your ECR. You never want to go down below 75% on one day unless you're going to, if you're going to play the next day. So that's going to mean playing 30 battles a day is probably the most you're going to be capable of playing while allowing your ECR to remain stable at 100 or uh, topped up. And it's really important you have that ECR topped up because that's going to impact the R shares you're receiving and your DC and later on your SPS payouts per battle. So you want that ECR high, which means that you're only going to have 30 battles a game a, a day at most, which is about an hour and a half of play. And if that's your, let's say your fuel in the tank, how much you're able to play, you need to then play in such a way that you maximize the R shares from those wins, meaning win as many of that as possible. So that's going to mean that you want to play in a league that you're actually competitive in. If you can if you can barely make it, if you can barely make it to, to diamond, it might be better to stay in gold because you want to have a deck that really competes well at at wherever you're 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 fighting so that you're maximizing the number of wins and you're not struggling to win a game because that's going to diminish your R share total payout. Now, bonuses when we think, obviously you want to win as many games as you can. That almost goes without say, but that is, you need to say it. And so, and then like I pointed out a minute ago, at higher levels, you need fewer wins to get the 10 loot chest R share threshold. But one way to maximize your R shares is actually to look at the bonuses that you're going to get from battling. Oops. No, go back to battle. That was a guild battle. That's brawl, brawl. Here we go. Ranked to results now on this win buddy got a 10 percent win streak a 10 percent gold card bonus and a nine percent guild bonus if he was going to get let's imagine this is a this is a diamond level battle let's go over to the wins that was a 29 percent bonus go back to that sheet it's a diamond level battle and 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 that if the, if the r share format of rank battle was in play that person who just beat me would get 34,328 without any bonuses we take that number we put it into our into our calculator 34328 and we times it by point or no 1.29 that's tw that's a 29 percent bonus because we had he had a gold foil bonus a guild bonus and a win streak bonus so we're adding 29 percent to our total and we're going to see he would get 44,283 R shares for that win. Do you see how big a difference that is? It's an extra 10,000 R shares on this diamond win. And so carry that forward. 
if you have that sort of win streak bonus and that sort of gold foil bonus and that sort of guild bonus and whatever other bonuses are available to you, if you're maximizing your bonuses, you're going to rapidly exceed these totals. He would he would deserve on average 34,000, but he's going to get 44,000 per win. And how much more rapidly is that going to reach him up into these these required totals to get the 10 loot chests or even up to 30 a day? It's see, that's the only way it's going to be possible to get your 30 loot chests per day. And that's why bonuses are going to be so important. Um, and that was a pretty good bonus. He had a 10%, he had 29%. That's actually very strong. Like often I'll get five or 10% bonus. So it's going to be super important that you start positioning yourself now to get certain key gold foil cards so that you can get, you can take advantage of that. Plus get into a guild if you're not already. Um, the higher the guild hall, the better, because that's going to be where the guild bonuses are coming from. And, and plan this out for yourself because in order to extract maximum daily rewards, you definitely are going to require bonuses on top of your base win rates. No one wins 30 out of 30 matches. So at wherever league level you're at, I, I showed you if you're at, I think it was at, at gold, you needed 16 wins at, at silver. You needed 19 and a half wins. I didn't even calculate bronze because don't, don't fight in bronze, but when you add percent bonuses on those e the from your ECR uh, on those R shares, you're going to see faster and faster returns from your loot chest. So that's the key. That's the point. Understand how your ECR works in conjunction with your reward share payout, and then understand how the guild bonuses and the win streak bonuses and the gold foil bonuses are going to augment those returns, thereby re producing more and more loot chests. And remember what I said, if you feel like you have a gold level deck and you can make it to diamond, but barely remember that when you get into diamond, you're going to need to win consistently to extract the R shares. And so don't maybe don't even reach for that high level that you don't feel you actually can can compete at. Just stay within gold and strive to be like a, um, you know, like a bigger fish in a smaller pond. I think that might be a target for most of us. Uh, I think that might be the best approach to maximizing your daily rewards. Just wanted to talk on this bonuses. This is trying to meet, this is a topic I've already talked about before. Uh, so if it feels repetitive, I'm sorry for that, but this is so important to understanding how this game is changing and how you can extract your maximum reward for your time and attention that I felt it deserved a, um, a, an almost, like a more concise repetition of these important points. Guys, if you have any comments, drop them below. As always, thank you for your time and attention. Have an amazing day. God bless.